Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the first module of the Forbidden Tech course. What are we I, covering in this module? Okay, so we're covering um, why we created this course, uh, also some common misconceptions uh, dealing with um, free energy and over unity, um, free energy in general. We're going to talk about that a little bit. The laws um, of thermodynamics are part of the laws of physics, which um, themselves are incomplete. 50% uh, of the original theories uh, that created the laws of physics were purposefully redacted uh, from our public knowledge base um, by the financial interests of uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, Hendrik Lorenz, and also Thomas Edison. Uh, the missing theories are found in the laws of nature. Now, this was what Maxwell was working on as a complete set of theories, um, for which there are several law-breaking examples, such as flight of the bumblebee, mm -hmm. uh, which is fully explained in our book, uh, like what you mentioned, uh, Maxwell's theories redacted that section. Yeah, so Perpetual motion, yes. in general, is impossible. Is impossible. Perpetual motion doesn't exist. It can't happen. It's totally impossible. Um, because of the previous... Uh, right. Well, wait, I have one question for that. Yeah. How's the Earth spin? Oh, well. Wow. How does the Earth rotate? Is, is the Earth plugged in to <laughs> uh, a, a power plant somewhere? That's a good point. Right? Yeah. So, so we're going to go. In order to run that generator to produce 10 kilowatts of electricity out, you need 15 kilowatts in. of energy in. Yes. That's so you right. see? You see how. It's totally wasteful. You need to consume more energy than you can create, and that's because of the way these things are built. Yes, that's right. Right? So this is going to be fascinating when we talk about the different systems, yes. asymmetrical and symmetrical, symmetrical systems. systems. So you'll see the differences and why things are so inefficient. Here's one of my least favorites. <laughs> okay, yeah. And I'm sure that a lot of people don't like uh, this uh, one either. Yeah, absolutely. So planned obsolescence. Well, you know... That's um, planned obsolescence is the built-in obsolescence. Um, it's a actual design policy uh, yeah. where a big uh, industrial manufacturing company gives a product uh, a, a planned artificial limited useful life. Right. right. Um, so that is that's we'll start with that because yeah. when we go into Maxwell's equations, that's going to be yes interesting as well. And don't worry because we're not going to go too deep into equations and physics. We're just going to kind of skim over a little bit to let you know what they are. You're familiar with the names right? um, so that you and what they the did. Names. Yeah, Yeah, pretty Basically. much. Because, um, I, I mean, I don't have that kind of a brain for it, and I know a lot of people don't, but I think it's really important that you know, especially some of the politics that happened behind some of these equations, and that's what we're really going to get into in this course. Uh, now, we do have a video that we're going to show here, <clears throat> and that's going to be our way. Uh, so, yeah. so tune into this video and then stick yeah, around right. right after the video so we can just end the course and talk about our one-page handout for our module. But this video is discussing Lenz Law. Yes. And the